U.S. President Donald Trump has reiterated his anti-Iran rhetoric at a speech at the U.N. General Assembly, accusing Iran of supporting terrorism. We cannot allow the world's leading sponsor of terrorism to possess the planet's most dangerous weapons. We cannot allow a regime that chants death to America and that threatens Israel with annihilation to possess the means to deliver a nuclear warhead to any city on Earth. Just can't do it. We ask all nations to isolate Iran's regime. Trump claimed that Iran does not respect its neighbors and accused the Islamic Republic of causing mayhem in the Middle East region. He once again criticized the 2015 nuclear deal, describing it as a horrible agreement. The U.S. President said that Washington has launched a campaign of economic pressure on Tehran. He said this includes sanctions that imposed last month on Tehran and warned that more embargoes will follow in the coming future. Trump stressed that the U.S. is working with countries that buy Iran's crude oil to cut its exports substantially. The U.S. has intensified its pressure on Iran since it withdrew from the nuclear deal in May. However, other signatories of the accord slammed the decision and vowed to work in support of the deal. Jack Rice, criminal defense attorney and former CIA officer, joins us from Minneapolis. Jack Rice, welcome. Uh, so at this point, uh, you, uh, I'm sure you heard what uh, uh, the U.S. President Donald Trump said at the U.N. General Assembly, slamming uh, Iran and uh, saying that it supports terrorism. Do you agree with that posture that Trump has when it comes to Iran, uh, especially uh, uh, coming on the heels of Iran experienced a uh, terrorist uh, act uh, terrorist incident in the country which claimed the lives of 25 people. Well, well, thank you for having me. First of all, I think it's a disaster what the President of the United States is doing right now as it applies to the Iranians. But let's think of it in this broader context. Here's what we do know. What we absolutely know is that his National Security Advisor, uh, Ambassador Bolton, has said very clearly, and he has said this to me directly, that there were two options for Iran. The first was to bomb them or regime change. We also know that his very close advisor, Giuliani, just said within the last three days that there was one effort, and that solitary effort was to uh, remove the leadership in Iran. So the idea that you're seeing this happen, frankly, is pretty consistent with both of those statements. Uh, and how far will then uh, Trump and his team want to pursue this avenue? Because it goes somewhat against some of the rhetoric coming out of um, the White House. For example, they have said, again, that they don't want regime change in Iran, as they put it. And they also have uh, said just uh, minutes ago, Trump uh, uh, came out saying that uh, we are going to work out a new deal with Iran. So it seems like they're still mm, pursuing that path also. Well, and that's a very good point. I mean, that's the, that's the inconsistency that I've been saying here is that the administration officially has been saying that they want uh, they don't want regime change. But the problem is, is their very close advisor in the last two days has said that is exactly what they're doing. That is exactly what they're working on. And of course, you look at the nuclear deal that that Trump pulled out of, and the rest of the Europeans and others were in support of. This addressed specifically those issues, and in fact, all of those very same organizations have said that the Iranians were in compliance. But what we're seeing right now is a president who clearly is deciding to go down a different path. My, my bigger concern here, when you look at what's happening, is you looked at some of the language that he used in the broader context at the United Nations, and what he sounded like to me was he sounded like your traditional strongman that I've seen from Slobodan Milosevic. I mean, this is something we've seen that was very counter-American uh, for the last 50 years. This is a much different approach than what we have seen in the United States in general, and much different than certainly we saw from the last president. So finally and quickly, so do you think that Trump is ratcheting up the, uh, um, or the uh, pretty much the drumbeats of war coming through his statements by some of the uh, posturing that he made in these uh, statements that he made against Iran? Yes. I mean, that's exactly what I'm afraid of. What I'm afraid of right now is this is a president 
who is on his heels in the United States, who has an investigation going against him right now as to potential criminal wrongdoing with the Russians on one side, and the idea that he could turn around and become a war president and stand in front of a huge crowd on an aircraft carrier in a leather jacket and talk about uh, the Iranians uh, is something that I think is particularly scary, should be petrifying to the Iranians, is petrifying to the Americans, and should be petrifying to the entire world. Thank you for that. Jack Weiss, criminal defense attorney and former CIA officer.